Okay guys, this is actually really special. I am such a fan of this machine behind us here. We're gonna talk all about that, but I gotta introduce the man, the myth, the legend, Don <laughs> right, McClure. Right, right. And for those of you that don't know, Don actually is a ski industry vet. Let's start there. How did you even get into the ski industry? How did you get into skiing? I wanted to ski at 15 and it was expensive. So I put two and two together that if I worked at a ski area, I could ski for free. So 1975, I joined the ski patrol at Buck Hill as a junior and then became the paid patroller later on in high school. It was the best job I ever had. That's awesome. I mean, you worked there many, many years, worked up to be a co-owner for a while there and recently kind of stepped away from that venture. And now, I mean, you're sole on Skyride here, which is crazy. So let's talk about this really quick. This is in 1964, but you took over what, early 2000s? Early 2000, 2001. And everything looks so fresh and clean. I'm working in the ski industry, around the ski industry, you don't get lifts that look like this very I'm often. I'm kind of a clean nut when it comes to machinery. I'm like, you know, I, that's the way I like it. So we've spent a lot of time cleaning it up and then and then overhauling the machine from end to end, top to bottom, you name it, it's been done. So, I mean, it's so unique, it runs 12 days a year. So actually on the, on the calendar, it's an old machine, but chronologically by the hour, it really is not. But it's an intense 200 hours. Runs constantly. Speaking of which, how many people do you guys move through this in those 12 we days? We do a lot. We run about 10% of the people come, that come to the state fair will come and ride this. I heard from a little bird that you have basically two of every part for this machine. I kind of believe that. Well, I mean, we don't have 12 months, we have 12 days to make it. So it's like, if we buy one, we buy two. And, you know, parts and service are still available through Doppelmayr and Garaventa out of Switzerland. But uh, it's a robust machine. And of course, you, you look at anything these days, you're not going to get the life out of a new machine. You're not going to get 60 years old out of a no, new machine. It's just no. not going to happen, you know. But it, it is, like I said, it's a piece of history that just, just continues to rock. And yeah. Do you want to take a ride with me on it? Yeah, we could, yeah. Let's do it. When was the last time you written this? Yesterday. Nice. Have you, you rode this as a kid, right? I did, I can distinctly remember it. I'm probably eight, nine year old riding it. Of course I was a skier at that age, so I'm like, mom, there's a ski lift at the fair, let's go for a ride. So I, I vividly remember it. It's crazy, how high are your towers here? Well, our tallest one's uh, almost 70. 70 feet, okay. But it, you know, it gives a bird's eye view. Absolutely. It's, it's, you know, for, for the average person that comes to ride this, this is like the height of their fair visit, you know? Go over the top of the giant slide. Look at this. Do the treetop. Oh yeah, we gotta get the cow. We got we got the cow. We're riding the cow. You see this beautiful paint job? <laughs> That's all me. You did that? <laughs> Was the color combination the same when you, yes, when you all, started? Yes, all, okay. all primary colors. And we just added, for example, we added the cow car. This yep. is by far the most popular car. Bond roll 101s, there's probably only 14 or so left in the country. A little less than that right now, without now with Tulsa gone. So, I mean, what what's your fascination with Von Roll in particular? It's the first generation of detachable grip technology. And it was actually designed in World War II and put on the shelf and then came back out in the 50s. And Disney was the first one to put one in in, in uh, California. And subsequently, I think there were almost a hundred of them in, in the United States. And now we're down to just a handful, but it's just a piece of history that's still running. And then they see a 60 year old lift still moving and still supported and, and overhauled to a T. And we've had a great time over the last 20 years rebuilding this machine. I've heard you stay on site. You have an apartment here? I do. I've got it. It's, it's about 10 feet by 10 feet. It's got a futon in it, but it's great. Can we check it out? Yeah, you can. All it's, right, let's it's go check quite, it out. It's quite humble. <laughs> right. Good morning. All right, so this is my my humble abode for 14 This nights. is it. This, this is, is the it. apartment living. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is amazing. A washer, dryer, and a shower. He's got a shower, a yep. TV. Yep. You know, 15 minutes after we shut down, you know, I'm nodding off. So I like it. 
So this thing, it's been operational now since 1964. Yep. We're coming up on a big anniversary. Mm -hmm. Do we have anything planned? Is there anything in the works? I do, I do, and it's going to be really cool, but we can't divulge it. Next point. year. Yeah, we got some we got some some things in the works. You heard it here first. That's right. Some cool stuff for next yep. season. Yep. And then I got to ask, you know, is this thing going to run as long as it possibly no, can? No, as long as I possibly can run it, and, you know, parts service is still available. It's a piece of history that still runs. And then of course, when you get off of your sky ride journey, you gotta head over to get some cheese curds. Well, hope you guys had a lot of fun joining us to learn a little bit about the sky ride. And remember, you guys can ride it up until Labor Day. If you wanna learn more, we'll link to their pages below. But until next time, I hope all of you have a great week. Pray for snow, and I'll see you out there.